Welcome back, everyone. Go. Yes, here we go. We have an update from Region Biopharma. Inc. trades on the OTC pink sheets under the symbol RGBP. It's a biotech company in the immune oncology and autoimmune disease space. Happy to welcome back President and CEO David Coase and Senior Scientific Consultant Harry Lander. Welcome, gentlemen. Well, thank you very much. We're happy to be here. Great. Take it away, Ready David. Get the show on the road. Okay, so we've only got 10 minutes today, so I'd like to uh, hit the ground running on this. We're going to uh, talk about orphan drug status, uh, money that we've raised so far in the Reg A and where that is going, and then uh, uh, also where we sit with regard to uh, finalize every, finalizing everything on uh, the clinical phase one. So first step is Ray is the uh, orphan drug status. We have uh, uh, gone back and forth on a couple of comments with the uh, with the uh, orphan drug division of the FDA, and I think we've got it to a point where they said they'll get back to us within 90 days. Now that's no guarantee that it's pass fail whatever. It's just It'll be at least 90 days, especially with the government shutdown. Um, but I look at it, we're making headway there. The other thing that's going on uh, is that uh, we've been doing the Reg A. Now, the limiting factor is that the Reg A itself is, is small enough in size that participants that don't want to be over 5% shareholders uh, can only buy a certain amount of stock. We have, uh, to this point, uh, sold about uh, nine nine million nine ninety five uh, nine point five million, roughly uh, shares of the Reg A, and that equates to about uh, uh, ninety five thousand dollars. The goal to get into clinical phase one is uh, 105,000, which I think we'll get that fairly quickly. We've been uh, building up the number of shares that can be sold into the system, and no one is really being abusive about it. I think today I noticed that we've sold uh, something like 2.7 million shares in the market, or 2.7 million shares have traded in the market, and uh, that's extremely good volume, extremely good liquidity, and the price uh, uh, was up most of the day and closed flat on the day. And those are just off of my observations, off of the, the uh, apps that I use to look at it. I think that uh, I'm excited to see things getting close. It's sort of feeling like we, when you put the spaghetti in the, in the hot water and you're waiting for it to loosen up, and, and become uh, malleable. That's the uh, that's where I feel that we're getting to with the market, uh, or, or at least in the way we're advancing our program. I'm very excited. I think we're just right around the corner from getting uh, uh, the clinical phase one kicked off, and nothing's going to make me happier than to see that happen. No. Harry, do you have anything you want to add to that? Uh, no, I, I was surprised that the FDA continued to respond back to us uh, even during the shutdown. So uh, that was a pleasant, uh, you know, uh, event. So things are continuing to move ahead with the orphan drug application, which is, is important. It's good. Um, and yeah, I, I do feel like we're very close to being able to start the uh phase one trial it's an exciting time yeah I, i'm very excited about it i think uh, we're moving things right along um were there any areas that uh, that you felt like you wanted to to address today or are we no i i think uh, you know we're until the phase one trial has started we're kind of you know just don't have a, I don't have a lot to report on that. 
Yeah, so the phase one trial, basically, we see that starting as soon as we've got the funds raised. Um, I have commitments on those. Right now, just a matter of, of uh, how quickly um, people actually move. And I think that's, uh, it, it's good to see. I think the fact that we're trading well in the marketplace gives people a little more encouragement, a little more uh, uh, excitement about stepping up. No one wants to step up and be the person that buys the stock and, and, it, uh, and it sits there. Uh, I think the activity has been good. I'm excited about the people that are interested in what we're doing. And the thing that we need to look at is that as we get into to phase one, and it adds a lot more credibility to what we're doing. Um, I think people will get very, uh, very excited about uh, about providing better, better financing, better terms, and larger sums. Now I know that there have been some comments that I've seen that are are obviously from people who haven't been watching the videos that have said that uh, they think that I'm. Uh, getting rich off of the company while they're getting poor. Well, I'm I'm sad that they think they're getting poor. Um, I do not take a paycheck out of the company. That is just something I haven't done since I came back to the company. I'm focused on one thing, and that's getting this company into clinical phase one. That represents a huge milestone for the company, and I'm very excited about it. Uh, that being said, the people that are making comments uh, to the opposite of that are ignorant. So, all right. That being said, I think we're running close on time. I'd like to get some questions. Uh, Anna, do you have any questions for us? We sure do. Uh, Trevor okay. wants to know, um, have you done another drawdown notice issuance in the past couple of weeks pursuant to the equity line agreement? No, equity line agreement is is completely done. Uh, that's been done for a long time. Um, so the answer to that is no. And are you more or less confident since the last conference call that orphan drug status will be approved? Well, after what we've experienced so far, I'm fairly confident. I don't know what they're going to come back to us with. If they're going to say they want some, some more data, um, They'll get that as soon as we get into phase one and we get to, and we get the data that they need. And since the last conference, have you engaged or in discussions with new investors? If so, what role will they play with the company and at what price? <clears throat> well, I think that's a vague, sort of a vague question because you can't really answer that. We always have people that are interested in the company and I've actually turned away quite a few. Um, because I'm trying to keep the reggae and it just the hands of three different entities. And that means that the reggae can be successful without killing the price. And when it comes to the funds, do you, how soon do you anticipate you will have necessary funds to start the clinical trials with Hema Accelerate? Um, I would say if we have this, if we had this conference next week, um, we might have a, a bit of a different answer than this week. This week, we're very close. Next week, I think that we're we're probably over the hump. Can you talk about any patents for Hema Accelerate? Well, right now, we, we need to uh, focus on getting into uh, clinical phase one. I don't know. Do you have anything you want to address on, on the patents, Gary? Uh, we certainly haven't submitted any new patents on it uh, recently. Uh, recently, we, we do have some patented material around its um, use and around its uh, production. But, but no, uh, David's, of course, focused on using our resources now to get us into, into phase one. Yeah, I think that the, the idea is that you're going to get material coming out of clinical phase one that you want to patent. And that's where you go with it. 
people don't understand it's very expensive to, to file and maintain patents. And you want to make sure that there, there's value in what you're patenting. All right. Do you have any closing remarks for our viewers today? You know, uh, next month, I think we're going to be on the 30 minute uh, on the first presentation. And I would expect we'll have a treasure trove of, of information for people. And I'm looking forward to it. I wish we had more time now. And I appreciate everybody's interest in following us along and, and going for the ride with us. Perfect. Well, thank you, David. Thank you, Harry. We look forward to seeing you again real soon. All right. Thank you, Anna. All right, everyone. Well